Hey everyone, Blaze here with another Canvas how-to video, and today we're going to give a brief introduction to our Conference Center's AV system. To the left of the TVs, you're going to have your workstation for the AV for the Conference Center. Our main component is going to be the touch panel there, which allows you to cycle through presentation, web conference, and phone call. We also have our mobile touch panel. 3090 is the access code. And the mobile touch panel mimics the panel that's embedded within the wall. So it allows you to switch or control the settings from anywhere in the room. You're also going to have your two remote controls. Those are to turn on and off the TV. You could also control picture settings as well. We also have our touch panel user guide to help you troubleshoot any issues you might experience while you're using the panel. Within the left hand drawer, you're going to find all the cords and plugins you could utilize for both Mac and PC. To access the presentation mode, click into the screen and then it should be the first square right there on the left. And then we're going to want to click into HDMI 1. And now depending on your computer, you're going to want to make sure you have the proper connection. So for a Mac, we're going to have to use an adapter, which we have in the drawer. And then we'll also connect our HDMI cord to that. And once that's connected, we're going to want to connect it to the HDMI 1 port, which is located right below the touch panel embedded in the wall. If you're connecting to HDMI 2, that port is located to the right of the TVs. Once connected, your computer screen should present on the two TVs. To connect wirelessly, the first step is to select the tab, and then you're going to type in the IP address on the screen there into your web browser. Once the page loads, it will ask you to download some software, depending on if you use a Mac or Windows product. Once downloaded, your computer should tell you what to do next. For Macs, you're going to select the monitor screen at the top portion, and then select Air Media. Once that's selected, it's going to ask you to enter a password, which you can find located on the TV or on the touch panel screen. After entering the password, your laptop should mirror onto the TV screens. For web conference, you're going to want to select the middle square and then grab your USB mini B cord. That's the one with the smaller end pictured here. The smaller end gets plugged into the wall next to the HDMI plugin, and then the regular USB end that will get plugged into your computer. So you should have the HDMI end and a USB end plugged in. The gray screen pictured here is going to ask you to launch the web conferencing software on your device before you make the call, so like Zoom or Google Meet. So for this example, we've launched Zoom. And then we'll go ahead and hit continue. And now within your program's video settings, you should be able to select between the two conference room cameras. They should both be listed as AVER Cam 540. And that's the back one. And this is AVER Cam 540 number two, which is the front one. You also have the ability to control the cameras via the touch panel. You can select from front or rear camera. We have presets available or you could choose to tilt, pan, or zoom. And last but not least, we have phone call. So you'll select the phone call square there on the screen. And then you'll simply type in the number that you wish to dial. And then you'll just hit the green phone square and this will allow your call to dial out. 
And that's it for the basic introduction to the AV in the Conference Center. Of course, if you have any questions, please reach out to Blaze or Lindsay, and have a great day.